Good afternoon, everyone. How's it going? It's time again. I guess it's a holiday for most people, isn't it? Not for me. I'm back. <laughs> I mean, what would I be doing on a holiday? Playing games? Instead, I'll just play games here, right? Play more Fallout. Ugh, man. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm gonna yawn and stretch into the microphone, because that's totally professional. <laughs> Sorry, that's a big one. That's a big stretch. <laughs> uh. But right, yeah. So we're going to continue Fallout 4. Our mission to clean up the wasteland and own it. <laughs> Build our corporation. Where we run every business. There are no businesses in the wasteland? Of course there are. <laughs> we're going to make them. People running underground fighting rings? No, we're gonna we're gonna lead that. People making drugs? No, we're gonna lead that. <laughs> hey Joe Roker. Joe Joe Rocker? Roker? Rocker? <laughs> Playing the tenants. How is the tenants? I saw I saw some of it when uh, it was when they were doing the like the the free demo, and I know it's released now, but I was curious how it was. You know, this game in your library, but never gotten into it. I love this game. I'm a big Fallout person. I love Fallout. Stark as shit. I still never found the mod responsible for this. <laughs> I think there I think I've uninstalled the mod, but I think what's happened is something's gotten stuck. It's dark as hell. Alright, so let's see. We rescued Valentine. The blast and very addictive Sims 1 vibe, but an adult game. Love everything crafting and building, especially base buildings should get into this game. Yeah, that was one of the things. When Fallout 4 came out and you could do base building and stuff, I thought, yeah, that's that's where it really picks up for me. That's where it, that's what it makes this game um That's what makes me like this one over a lot of the other ones. The story may not be super stellar, but I mean, honestly, the main storyline in a lot of Fallouts were never super stellar. It's always the side quests and everything that were the the real big attractions. And this game is no different. And the more I've, I've, I've gone back and played this game at times, and it's like the more I play it, the more I kind of realize, no, this game is actually excellent. Because again, you know, everyone always says, ah, this is the worst Fallout, and I go, no, <laughs> it's really not. Excellent fallout. Where was... Wait, where was that? I cannot see him in the distance. But yeah, the base building was one of the real awesome things. And there's a lot of base building mods and... That kind of stuff. And I mean, I've been teaching myself to play Ark over the past, like, month or so. Because I've owned the game forever. And never played it and so what do I do I download a bunch of mods for it that are like here's new building pieces and new decorations and everything I'm not good at building or decorating but I love it combat oh we're at the combat zone excellent huh get Kate while we're here what the Why can I not see you, dude? I just XCOM the shit out of that. Uh, still, I've still never found where the seg is. 
It always goes back up every restart. I can't find how to. Someone oh. is nearby. Perhaps they are friendly. Are they? You think so, Curie? You think they're friendly? Did I get her? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Same with Ark, never gotten into it. it. Was more into Seven Days to Die and those Vox Tuck games. Okay, Seven Days to Die was one of my favorite games. I played so much Seven Days to Die, and then I just kind of fell out of it. I fell out of it before the vehicles got put in and a lot of the other new stuff. I still follow with it and like what all the updates are, but yeah, I haven't. Um, I have not played Seven Days to Die in a long time, but I loved it. And then Ark was one of those things that I was, there was a streamer I was watching, he was playing it. And I was like, you know what, every time I see someone play Ark, it does look quite interesting. And I've owned this game forever, let me try to actually learn to play it. And the more I play it, the more I start to enjoy it. Um, it's got a high learning curve. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's it's been, um, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Burned yourself on seven days big time. Yeah, that was pretty much what happened to me. I burned out entirely. And I want to go back to it, but I just haven't. Did I figure out how to make plasma bullets? Yes, i am got a mod. <laughs> it's not actually possible in the game to make them by default. So uh, there was one mod in existence out there that would actually let you do it. That'll let you convert uh, laser rounds into plasmas. It's a bit of an upcharge, though. It's like 30 pla uh, thirty laser rounds turn into... Uh, 30 laser rounds and I think like 30 steel uh, turn into 20 plasma rounds. And we can manufacture... Um, we can manufacture laser rounds, so... I'm just looking around before we go into the combat zone. That's for the tenants. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping an eye on that one. I've been just I've got too much to play lately. Got it. I'm falling back into that uh, that bit where it's like I've got a backlog of games that just sit, <laughs> need to sit down and play. Can't keep picking up new ones because then I just don't play them. I know I picked up Metro Exodus when it was on sale recently. It was like super cheap, and I like the Metro games. And it's like, I'm not ready to play Metro yet, but... <clears throat> I didn't have the caps, so they threw me in here. Hey. <laughs> this ain't no place for you. We'll see about that. You just play random fun games, try to play a bit of different games. I like to, I like to, I tend to get into like, I binge things. I'll, I'll pick a game and I'll stick with it. I am doing, I'm not quite doing that because like I've been, like I say, I've been playing Arcid by off time, but I've also like picked up King of Retail recently, which is fun. Um, there's another game I was playing. What was I playing? What's the other game I was playing? Well, now it's just bugging me. 
Steam, tell me, what was I playing? <laughs> Was I not playing anything else? Oh, I was playing a bit of Kingdom and Castles. I kind of fell out of that one again. Never mind. Huh. I think the Trader Life Simulator was the game you played when you began to watch. Yeah, I have. Uh, it, yeah, that one. I played that one on stream. It's had an update. It's added some new stuff. I'll probably revisit that one. I'm planning on it some point here this month. I don't know when. Um, I'm going to do another, like, 12-plus hour stream. And we'll probably take a look at it. I've got some other games I need to take a look at as well. Um, some devs have sent me some keys for things. And one of them, actually, I requested a key from them in October. They sent me <laughs> They approved the key request in, like, February, I think it was. So, I've got that one to play. And so, I, th I figure we'll pick up uh, Trader Life Sim again during that stream or something like that. Not sure when it's going to be. It's probably going to be sort of spurish the moment. Like, I'll decide that week this is when I'm going to do it. Okay, I figured they were going to chase me. The hell? I've never seen anyone do that, that before. Ugly anyway. Trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn coward. The heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like this. You finished tearing the place up now? Is it over? Well, I could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy, is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. Hmm. I like entrails. I wonder what mine would taste like. Out of business. What do you mean? Not the entrepreneurial sort, are you? Oh, I totally those am. idiots entertained was what kept us in caps. Now just what the hell are we supposed to do? To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm? now? no. You know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? See... I put you out of business because I'm going to be getting into this business. Once we get the castle and take castle over, that's going to become a fighting arena. So putting you out of business helps me. She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me and her. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. 
Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Just what you were thinking, she's a cutie needs to be recruited. Maybe she won't be as whiny as Piper. She's got a little bit of wine to her, but it's something different. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's feet. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy. You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Alright, yeah, head... Wait, where are you going? Oh, yeah. Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? No, I want you to go to Red Rocket. But yes. Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. I think if you travel with Kate, you may need to bring a little more ammo. You're just jealous because you'll be missing all the fun. Actually, Kiri, Kiri is going to stay with us, but I just want to be able to send it's Kate. Now a better time to converse. Is everything okay? Is everything all right? On the whole, no, it is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, mm -hmm. and my self-diagnostics have come to a green <laughs> conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Accidentally clicked and clicked away some of the <laughs> dialogue. Um, I'm surprised she can do this while she's not in my party, but I'm bringing her back in my party so I can send Kate directly back to Red Rocket. Otherwise, she stays here and then I have to come back and find her when I'm ready to bring her along. Robots can do amazing things. Surely they've contributed to science. When directed by a human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Is that even possible? Who is to say? There were great advances made before the war in cognition and memories. Surely there is someone who can help, or at least point us in the right direction. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Well, her quest line's opened up already. Have you found someone that can help me become human? It's my top priority. Your efforts are appreciated. Okay, but Kira, I actually want you to come with me. Have you found <laughs> someone that can help me become human? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on their way. Wow, Kiri's popped up fast. I mean, we just... We just brought her with us. <laughs> and she's already... We've already got her quest. All 
All right, let's loot the shit out of this place. <laughs> I'm gonna put you out of business more ways than one. my uh, carry weight <laughs> since I'm not wearing my power armor. Look, uh, you need to you need to clean this place up anyway. I'll I'll help. Yes. Plus well, so now I can build potted plants. Taking everything. Every last piece of scrap I can find. Plus, I always take the pull cues for a pull table back home. Tommy. Don't know how long it's gonna take to get butts back in these seats. Hopefully a long time, cause you know, like I say, I'm I'm getting into the arena biz. You hear a castle? I'm head there to I'm slowly making my way there to clear it out. You can come visit though. stuff. Oh, the recycle gods will be pleased. <laughs> I want that big pot. head towards good neighbor as well because I've got um well that's where Kiri's gonna want to go is good neighbor which I think we're not far from there god this place is uh I can get rid of that marker Oops. we need to head there to drop the next beacon so here's where we're headed towards castle That shows up. If this is where Kiri is going to want to go, which we're not far from there, so we might as well head in that way. Plus, um, the silver shroud costume I've got on. Got some knuckle dusters. been here before and had no trouble with the raiders. Don't know what you did to piss them off. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so craft an ammo here. Down in utilities. Ammo, plasma cartridges. Yeah, so for 30 steel and 20 fusion cells, I can make 20. Wait, 20 or 10? That be, might be 10. 10 plasma rounds. Uh, 
Uh, quite a bit of crossbow ammo. You know? Alright, we've about cleared this place, except up here. Where there's something up here, if I remember correctly. Remember if that's all those up here? Oh, mini nuke. Stop and listen for a minute. I couldn't tell if I was hearing our rats squeaking. Dude, you need to you need to rein it in. Come on, get up. It's time to go home. Oh man, this would have been a good seat. I think there's a bobblehead here. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Hey, you two can just stay there. Yes? Carrie? <laughs> I worry about you sometimes, darling. Okay, which way is good neighbor from here? I'm trying to remember. It's up that way. Speakeasy. Wait, there was another door back here, wasn't there? Yeah, this place. Oh, nope. Can't go in it. Uh, the frame rate in downtown Boston is Where atrocious. There's, a crater, there's ferals or crazy atom lovers. I can't think of anyone else that could stand it. Oh, aliens, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I know. You keep dropping the hint. We need to go to the spaceship crash. I keep forgetting, all right? That's how my brain works. <laughs> it doesn't. That's the problem. Hi. You with the Minutemen? Because if so... I got a one-finger salute and a bullet with your name on us. What's people's problem with the Minutemen? They're a bunch of liars and crooks. That's my problem. What happened? What have they done? It's not what they did. It's what they didn't do. When they recruited me to build artillery, they said I'd be gone a month. Tops. They promised they'd patrol the farm day and night. That's what General Becker said, day and night. 
He said it was for the good of the Commonwealth. Well, I say, fuck the Commonwealth and fuck the Minutemen. I should never have left Rosie and the kids. Not for a second. And now they're gone. Hey there. Leave me alone. That's it. <laughs> hey. Huh? <clears throat> what can I get you? Heard any good rumors? Sorry, can't say I have. No. Oh. Need a drink? Let me think it over. All right then. Yeah. Need a drink? Let's see what you have. Here's what I got. This adds plus 35 to carry weight. Holy shit. She has, like, a lot of Nuka-Cola types. Holy shit. And I kind of want them. Hey, some vault dude. What quest is this? I think this is another modded space. Leave me alone. Excuse me. Huh? Excuse me. Leave me alone. Okay, jeez. Cause yeah, I've never, I've never seen this in my life. So must be another modded experience. Just turn huh? the light. I'm going to your basement. I'm gonna have these cans. Oh, there's more people. <clears throat> oh, nothing. Okay, so it's not stealing, so, um. I'm just gonna say that probably completes my collection at home. Bounty board. There's a bounty here for the head of Diamond City resident Johnny Friendly. According to posting, Johnny carries a sizable amount of caps on his person, which will serve as a reward for execution. What the fuck? Is that something I can do? It doesn't pop up as any kind of quest, but if we, all right, if we meet, remember this, if we meet someone named Johnny Friendly, Hi. If you're here for the bounty on Johnny Friendly, forget it. It's taken. And if you've got a problem with that, you can take it up with the Maker when I send you to him. Calm down. Let's talk this out. I don't talk. Lavaz does enough for the both of us. Who's that? Are you talking about your gun? Yeah, although it isn't my gun. More like a parole officer. See, about nine years ago, I had a bounty on my head. Killed a bunch of men. Not all of them deserved it. But one day, I tried to kill the wrong man. A man in black. And pretty soon, it was me on the ass end of the barrel. Only the man didn't shoot. Instead, he gave me his gun. Then he told me, ten years. I had ten years to atone. And if I did, he'd let me go free. Is there anything I can do to help out? Other than staying out of my way, not likely. Just know I need this. So don't get any ideas about killing him before I do. He's mine. Who is this guy? The name alone says something. Word is Mr. Friendly's a bit of a sicko. Preys on women, young girls. 
Kids. I kill him, and I help pay down my debt to society. And maybe have a little fun in the process. I mean, if I find him first... <laughs> Finally set up some settlements, too. Never worked for you before for some reason. It's finicky sometimes. That was it. Watch yourself out there. I mean, if I find this guy first. Okay. Hey, can I have this and this and this and this and this and this and that? Hey, you don't mind, do you? <laughs> Just being back here. <laughs> You don't mind I'm in your safe? No? No problems with that? I'm just stealing your stock, that's all. Big red door that does not open. Just want me Excuse like... me. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> no problem. There, I've cleaned up your place. It's all nice and spiffy. Let's go. Alright, let's remember the name Johnny Friendly and see if we actually ever find the guy. Maybe we can help the help the dude out. Yeah, let's make our way... It makes me nervous when there's mannequins around, because it usually means... Landmines. The Peawood Residence. Sounds like a lovely place. Let me go loot. Anyone named Peawood's gotta be fun. Oh, we need to get out of downtown Boston. <laughs> It's terrible down here. Did you get stuck, dude? What were you after? Sweet. Thanks for the help, man. Man, imagine dying there. <laughs> Getting your arm jammed in that thing. And that's where you die. Okay. Looks like hopping in here is committing. There we go. That's... an explosion. Hey, free fan. This must be another modded space because I don't remember this one either. Alright, some vault dude, have a good one. I have zero memory of this place as well. 
Must be a mod. I mean, it, Fallout 4 is a big place. There's always a chance I've missed missed areas. But I feel like I wouldn't have missed anything around here. Oh, we just end up up here. Okay. Oh, Kiri. Only slightly disappointed that these collectibles we're getting, which is from a mod, um, that you can get duplicates. Makes finding them less, uh, less spectacular. Wait, don't get me wrong, I love that there's collectibles. It's one of my favorite things, obviously. Power armor. Ugh. I see a thing in there. Come on. Oh, come on. from here. <sighs> Just a Molotov cocktail. Get over there. If I had jetpack on this power armor, I probably could. I think I meant to. It's the only way I could have. gotten up and around. Clear yet? Okay, where's good neighbor? Up this way. Apparently, I've been that way because there's a goo pile. But yeah, I came through here. Or I thought <clears throat> I thought I did. If I head up this way, I'll get there. So am I. The enemy has been spotted. Wait, where the hell? Oof. 
fusion cells. So if you've never watched me play a game like this before, I basically head in a direction and I explore everything on the way. <laughs> I'm the same I'm the exact same with Skyrim. I will explore every nook and cranny. It takes me forever to get anywhere. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. <laughs> that worked. No, racetrack advertisement. Oh yeah, the October classic. Near Fallon's. Grab that. How you ladies doing? Third floor. What the hell was that? Oh, uh, it's on! Oh, there is to be fighting. <laughs> much left of the poor fellow. Is that good neighbor in there? Trying to get rid of that marker. What? I smelled your fear, human. Oh, oh. Shot his arm off. Die now, human! 
implementing brain functions and motor control even after the FEV. The <laughs> two enemies have been dispatched. What changes the super mutants? Surely it is not contagious. Oh, it's you shooting, okay. Continued hostilities is not advised. Hang on, I gotta pick this lock. <laughs> You'll wait, right? Yes. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for waiting while I pick that lock. normal person in the wasteland to be like, oh, I need to stockpile weapons. Me, I'm like, nah. Ow. What was that? You stubbed your toe. It's a Bethesda thing. Don't worry. Goodies. All right, let's check out upstairs. Super mutants always lived in the most like ripped out buildings. But somehow have nice beds. Just leads us further over there. See, normal people would see all these guns and be like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be safe around here. Nope, not me. Just like, hey, look at all this trash. Amazing. Okay, is there anything hidden up here? Neighbor should just be around the corner. But we should be near gunners, I think. Other, you're in my way. I don't even know how you got down there ahead of me. Yeah, that's what I was worried about right there. 
landmines around, good neighbor. Vats. <laughs> okay, just gonna stay over there. All right, how much weight am I carrying? Probably a lot. Two hundred ninety-two. Someone's gonna have to carry for me. Uh, there. I wouldn't say no to some noodles. I wouldn't either. But honestly, I need you to carry all this. Did I give you my bloat flag lands? Get my carry weight down look just enough so I can take my power armor off. I should do it. Don't even know where Kiri's gotten off to. I hear her. Hey Dark Omen! Mines around good neighbor sounds like a fun place, I know. Doesn't it? Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. I'm wearing power armor. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just. Say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> let me tell you something. You know, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? It's very persuasive. In my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor. That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hancock, nice to see you haven't lost your magic. <laughs> Sleep. All right, I'm gonna park this here. All right, remember where we parked it. Taking the fusion core. It's like taking the keys. Hey, mind if I uh, have some of that? Okay, some of this is stealing. Some of it's not. So there is a mod that changes this place up a little bit. As you can see, there's places here that weren't here before. Um, I've not been here since this mod was installed, so I don't know what everything looks like. Looks like most of it's stealing. All right. How you doing? I see you got a fat man back there and a goss rifle. Well, hello. 
Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who... what are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation, Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. I like Robot you. Robot <laughs> enough for you, smooth talker. Now what are you buying? You're an Assaultron? That's what my makers called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? So what kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? I've got a few minutes to browse. A gun for every occasion. What do you got? She's got four times binoculars. An auto plasma rifle. Oh, she's got the Gauss rifle. We'll find one eventually. I generally don't buy weapons in these games unless they're like super special. Unless there's the off chance that someone has an explosive combat shotgun, <laughs> that I will absolutely take that, but no one ever has that for sale. That is a random lucky find. Holy shit, look at this. Party starter. A lot of robot mods. For the ballistic fiber, oh. If only a spray and play that made you so depressed to kill yourself. <laughs> I think that's what playing XCOM is like. You spray and pray and then you just get so depressed. Isn't there a way to, hang on, there's, can you still do this? I know this trick works in Skyrim. Gotta be very careful here. Yeah. If I can get it out of her view, I can steal it. That Gauss rifle is unfortunately not. It's only part of the scenery. But yeah, that's an old. Tr I could I could take that. Just get it out of her view, and I could snatch it up. But I don't need a fat man, so. Don't need another hollow tape. There it is. Sweet. Contingency plan Daisy. Laser shot at long range. She's too close to home for outright assault to be visible to be viable without suspicion. Contingency plan Hancock. Kill bodyguard first, strangulation while she sleeps. Then load all doses of chems in the old state house with poisons. Collateral damage possible, but loss is acceptable without too much disruption to the business. The neighborhood watch. Wait until super mutant or raider attack. High explosives at key areas of the defensive perimeter. Relocation necessary afterwards. Good neighbor would be left vulnerable. Okay, she's got two <laughs> contingency plans just in case any of these people turn on her. I have a plan to kill everyone you meet. Sensor picked up digging sounds recently. Working of uh, workers and guards are being hired at high rates. Wait until night. Sneak into hideout, dismantle lights, then kill one by one. Whitechapel Charlie. 
Pay off one of his associates. Good help is so hard to hold on to these days. Magnolia. A fellow working girl deserves a chance. Burn down the third rail as a warning. If she resists after that, clean shot to the head. Uh, I love Cleo. Uh, how's my weekend? Not too bad. Played a bunch of ARC this weekend. Slowly getting better at it. Yeah, you doing? <clears throat> Been talk about Vault 81. Ever hear of vampires? Some problem there you, you were caught up in. Quarantine or some Folks such. Say, it's Damn, dry. you get around. Just like blood bugs. Hey. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. At this point so in the world, have you blind? not seen a ghoul before? What's it like, you know, being a ghoul? Well, it's a lot worse when people always ask you about it all the time. But I guess I can't blame them. On the upside, I look pretty good for being over 220 years old. Now, were you buying anything? Wait, you're 220 years old. Okay, okay. It's you were 10 more like when the bombs 270 fell. years. Okay. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? Actually, I do. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the world was like before the war, if you're so ancient. Hmm. I, uh... I had a beautiful house. White picket fence and a lawn with the, the greenest grass you've ever seen. It was peaceful. It was, wasn't it? Sorry. Last thing you want to see is an old lady tearing up. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. Ah! It's the truth. All of it. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, we should get back to business. What are you picking up? What kind of things do you sell? Oh, a bit of everything. Canned beans to cans. I try to take every weird bit of junk the caravans are willing to trade. So chances are you'll find something to your liking here. Ready to take a look? Let's see what you've got. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Okay. Got some plasma cartridges. Might actually buy those. How much for all of them? A thousand caps? Sure, I'll take them. Got a lot of uh, shipments. You like good neighbor, but you always feel like you need to watch your back. It's a great place. 
Let's see. I've got a bunch of drugs I can sell off here. Considering we just swung by the combat zone. We'll pay off that, um... Pay off those rounds. Thank you much. These appear worthless. Surely we can leave that behind. Why is... I guess I need to leave her a pot to piss in, right? <laughs> guess empty bottles would be considered scrap, so... Man, I tell you what, good neighbor's nice, but nobody has an actual bed. Just got a shitty mattress to sleep on. You okay, Kate? You getting bored? Hi. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Gonna pass. Let me know if that changes. Guess we got here at night. Everyone's closing up. Hey, how you doing? You feeling better? Oh my god, he's really highballing it there. Dude, calm down! <laughs> Dude, that don't- no more! Oh my god, he's still going. <laughs> How many psychos can he inject himself with? Oh wow, what was that, like five or six? Jesus. You alright, dude? Hey there. Smell that? That's freedom. Well, that's your blood turning into a fucking crystal or something. Wasn't there a quest for the Silver Shroud here? I feel like there was. God, we got so many main quest lines. I got the wanted poster, I never did that. I knew we had, I knew we had another quest for, uh, mutated ferns. Still haven't built a chair for Mama Murphy. Oh my goodness. I must feel really, oh yeah, the guy that took all that psycho. Offering settlement work, send them my way. I sweep, I scrub, I do all the little things people find beneath them. What do you think about coming to work for me? Yeah, those fingers of yours are way too delicate. Let me handle the rough stuff. I don't know where to send you, though. Uh, we need to eventually get Abernathy built up.
I've already sent a few people to Starlight Drive. Go to Abernathy. I think they're supposed to like boost settlements, but... Are you, f are you following me? I want to trade a few things. Okay. There's some cool extra spaces up here. Keeps going. Hi. Hey. Yes. Wait. You're named. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just so we confirm that. Well, hello. More rats are gross. Okay. <laughs> it's like a whole little up. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's like a whole other city up here. Like built a city on top of Good Neighbor. All of it's stealing, and I hate it. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. The hell is this thing? God, I want all of it. Okay. This is Ruben, Rufus Rubin's shack. Fahrenheit's house. Okay. Before we get in, before we get in, hi. Before we get into all this, we'll come back. So don't die. So, okay. Basement apartment. Okay. Let's go in here first. Alright. Yeah. Does the mod add to this area? It just adds a bunch of... It's it's called Better Good Neighbor, I think, is what it's called. And it just basically builds up Good Neighbor. Makes it a bit more bustling. Just have a lot more to it. Hey, good night. doing excuse me the memory den's not accepting new clients right now sweetheart okay back later you got the memory pod loaded up oh you're not Irma hi good neighbors crazy thefts murders worse sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud versus Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. He's got Mama Murphy's animation set. <laughs> I'd be glad if she was a companion. Oh, that'd be neat, yeah. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. 
Uh, that was episode 82. You think it's 83 because they released a non-canonical issue back in May of 2070. <laughs> Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. How did you get used to everything? Mainly I focused on survival. It got real bad after the bombs fell. For a long while, I tried not to think of the good old days. Just too painful. But it's all we got now. So we gotta try and make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. A goon with such fine aspirations. What a complex subspecies they are. I just have to do something, you know? That's rude, I built Kerry. my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine silver shroud costume herself. The one I'm and wearing. They actually <laughs> got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I might do it. If you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Well, I'm wearing the costume. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvi Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. <laughs> I'm standing here naked now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny cryo is new and not known to a lot of people but when you tell someone that you were frozen they simply accept it i would say probably probably the stuff that came out you know after the bombs fell because of course you know a lot of you know barriers were broken down sure information was lost but i'm sure a lot of secret locations got opened up so in i don't know plus a lot of people at this point probably just take whatever you know the the Pre-war time is, uh, you know, basically ah, a fantasy. Still talking? A fantasy to everyone at this point. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, it is weird to tell someone that you're cryo frozen, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, sure, I buy that." What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. Nice. Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. You know how much things have fallen? How much we gotta fight for? To make the place b better? So you win? I mean, you made me take off the outfit. <laughs> now. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Current mods, color zero, no color swap. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Nice.
Now can I have my clothes back? Okay, so now we need to listen to his radio station. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston. God, that's loud. Yes, there's... That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, the <coughs> mystery... Don't bother asking me how the memory loungers work. I don't have time to teach the years of neurophysiology. It would take Show you to me now. Reveal yourself. Silver Shroud. Oh, I'm not old friend. Tell me, where did you it's go to university? Me. University? Mistress of mystery. You're not I serious, you right? I Square on such a foul night. Tracking our dear Mayor Murphy, who is up to some mischief. The mayor? So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity? Hardly. Here, let me show you. Hey, everyone. Calling Gather all Silver around. Shroud fans. Kick the breeze a once-in-a-lifetime announcement. Now I know you all Silver Shroud returns, and he's gonna clean up the streets. I don't want anyone streets. here to forget what matters. Everyone hey, heard how Daisy. Wayne Delancey Glad you can make murdered Miss How's my favorite Selmy and her kid. Didn't I see one? Husky the other day. Death is coming. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're Galaxy. getting off track. News. Okay. We got the first mission what for that. Say? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now. What out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock! I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass! <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good yeah. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Of the people! For the people! Is that a Silver Shroud costume? Hell hey, yeah. Uh, no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? What, you don't like cosplay? Fuck off. <laughs> Gonna judge me about liking a kid's show? Lady? You don't know anything about me. <laughs> okay, so... I just need to kill the guy, right? <clears throat> Lady, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Alright. <laughs> What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished. Where's the hat? Too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. You're Heads dead. up. Hang on. Where'd the hat go? There we go. Are you still 
still well, madame. the right gear we could team up you'd be the silver shroud and i'd be your sidekick the mistress of mystery oh man if we could, uh, we have to go to west virginia if we want to get you a costume because <laughs> that's where it would be wait did the did I not get it put on going on oh space to leave calling card there we go back alley rooms we'll check that out in a bit galaxy friend of the show jerry is here is this thing on hello hello it's on We're recording in here. Uh -oh. Oh, Stay man. free, sister. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids, and his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. <laughs> we can't let AJ kill kids. Why? Whatever. <laughs> Galaxy News Radio. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go kill AJ. Hey there. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! What you are doing is quite illegal. You tell him, Kiri. Waste the freak. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Take more than that. It's loot time. I wonder what has happened elsewhere. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical, 
less extreme, more. At a fusion core. Alright, we're dispatching justice. Just need to go back to the radio station. Galaxy News Radio. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to Good Neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. How you doing? The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel, Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. A moon vengeance? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's, let's go killing some folk. <laughs> I'm a fucking pacifist. <laughs> It's not with people I don't like. How are you doing? Hey there. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the Fear third the rail. Shroud, evil Go on doers. in. What's <laughs> up, you, Heather? <clears throat> How wonderful. Someone new. Is it true you're from one of those vaults? I met a few of your kind once before back in D.C. Charming people. Badly dressed, but charming all the same. You don't like these clothes? Seriously? Well, I wouldn't be caught dead in them. But lucky for you, I hear you're quite good at staying alive. Tell me more about the Good Neighbor. The bar, like most things in town, is owned by Hancock. A wolf in revolutionary sheep's clothing. How'd you end up here? I'm here on business. A man thinks I'm better off dead. I beg to differ. Right now, he's waiting for me in some dusty hideout with a full staff of gunners. I hope to match him gun for goon. Anything I can do to help? Yes, there is. Perhaps you'd be interested in being my personal goon. Or gun, if you prefer. And in exchange, I will be yours. It doesn't matter who plays what role first. Just say the word and I'm right behind you. All right. Tell me about yourself. What's your story? Oh, you don't want to ask that question, darling. When a woman's lived for over 200 years, they've been a great many people. I've been an heiress, a salvager, a mercenary, and a fool. I feel it's far better to be the latter of the four. It makes it easier to relate to the common man. Let's go. All right. Send you back to my place. Our enemies are as good as dead, darling. Entertainment down the stairs. Carrie, come back. Uh, no, Carrie, come back. <laughs> Carrie. Have you found someone that can help me become human? Any idea where I can find someone? We need someone who is fully trained as a neural surgeon and well versed okay, with machines. Go okay, for fuck's sake, Kiri. <laughs> Have you found someone that can help me become human? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. There. Now we can have that conversation. Hey, do you need some? <laughs> have you found someone that can help me become human? Well, supposedly they're here. Any idea where I can find someone? We need someone who is fully trained as a neural surgeon and well versed with machine human interfaces. It is no easy thing, but surely someone qualifies? We're not supposed to be here, but maybe we can't do it yet. All right. Yeah, you head back to Red Rocket. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Very good at stealth.
staying alive. My guy, your Nuka Cola machine's empty here. Can't wait till I can get in here and Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. I toss out the troublemakers. You keep that in mind. Hey, how about another drink? Uh. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Okay, so this this space is modded as well, which is probably why that's happening. I think it's called Better Third Rail. <clears throat> Unless you're the bartender, I'm gonna need you to get out of my face. What's your problem? My problem? <laughs> Okay, uh, stop me if you've heard this one. He's not really a here. A lady walks into a bar and asks me what my problem is. Then Ham and Whitechapel toss her out, and everyone drinks happily ever after. Look, just tell me what you want. Are you lost or something? Lonely? Selling something? I'm here to help you. Uh, but who? Wait a minute. Ron? No, no way. What? You don't believe me? I'm more... surprised. For obvious reasons. How about that? I figured he'd just taken my money and ran. Or waddled. Slithered, you know. Look, I'm sorry for being a jerk before. I wasn't exactly expecting good news to come walking through the door. Any door, really, but even less so in a place like this. Here's what I need. I have a sister, Audra. She's a good girl, but gullible, you know? She's fallen in with a raider gang, common rad trash led by a guy named Knox. They've been filling her head with chems and God knows what other kind of ideas. And I won't allow my sister to be a junkie. I can't. She's better than that. This family is better than that. And she's all the family I got left. I've tracked them to the Harbor Master Hotel. Ever seen it? It's a trash heap. Suitable enough for scum like Every place is a ha trash heap. Not for Audra. Come with me. Help me get my sister back. Please. I have some questions first. Ask them then. So where do I come in? Look, I'm better at building doors than kicking them down, all right? I'm not a fighter. People like them survive the waste by taking what honest men earn. And then needling their veins until the insanity of it all starts to fade. People like them aren't worth saving. But Audra is. I just... can't do that on my own. What did she do? Audra's a smart kid, but only when her head is clear. And I'll be honest, in the past she's needed frequent... Uh, reminders of why that's so important. She ran away from me about two weeks ago. And this time is going to be the last time. That much I know for sure. Who are these guys? Raiders? Degenerate scum. Not one of them would know an honest day's work or an honest man's worth. And this Knox, he's poisoning Audra's mind. If these animals want to wallow in shit and waste their lives, that's one thing. But my sister knows better than to lie down with filth. Once we get her mind clear, she'll remember that. I'll make sure of it. Do you need to come with me now? Yes. When Audra gets like this, she needs me to remind her of what's important. To me, to her, and to this family. I won't cramp your style or get in your way, but I will be there when we go to do this. I have to be. I don't have any more questions. Sounds good. Let's go. All right. I'll follow your lead. And look, I... Really appreciate what you're doing for me, but don't underestimate these guys. And Audra, well, let's just keep her safe. 
She never could manage that on her own. My God. You can actually come with me with Kiri with me. Okay. Where is that even? Oh, that's on our way. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you can tag along. It's on our way to castle. God, you know what I love about all these mods is that I'm finding so much. We're finding so much that we've just never experienced before. It's all this new stuff. Smell that? That's freedom. Sorry, that was. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. So it's like with all these mods adding content, it's like playing Fallout's just brand new stuff. Also, it's very quiet in here. Hey, how you doing? Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. There was no song when I came in. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? Hmm. I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? That's why you add story mods when you play? I've never really done any story mods. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me. An evening walk under the streetlights? And then what? Oh, God. <laughs> She's really testing me here. Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Oh, my God. I've never actually passed all those speech checks before. What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it. Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Oh my god, I've never succeeded in all those speech checks before. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Nice. I got laid. <laughs> hey there. Hi. Was was everyone watching? What was? Hmm. Oh, we're in the hotel. Well, that means we're gonna meet. Uh, so we're about to meet. What's his name then? Hey. <clears throat> what? No. It can't. It. Hey, it, Colonel. It, it's you. 
from Sanctuary Hills, right? I swear this is the voice actor that plays Colonel in Metal Gear. <clears throat> At least it sounds like him. Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. You always fail that one, that last speech check. I think I remember I always would get to that last speech check and yeah, I would fail it. Are there any other ghouls out there from before? You mean crazy can't and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us. But no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault -Tec. He just left me there. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Um, Kerry, your lines. <laughs> she must be speaking telepathically to him. I remember one time I played this, and I think I might have sent him to Starlight Drive. And every once in a while when you would fast travel to Starlight Drive, there'd be a fight under the bridge. And he was under the bridge when that happened. And I think one other time, he left this place. He left here in Good Neighbor and he stepped on that landmine outside. Both times he died before he got there. Because he, he can die before he reaches his destination. But hopefully, hopefully he makes it. <laughs> Should be like something in his room, but... Never had him die. I've had him die a couple times. Yeah, I had him one, die one time under the bridge near Starlight, and then one time he was walking out of Good Neighbor and he stepped on that landmine outside. <laughs> he, he can actually die, and he can die permanently. He's not a protected character. Yeah, you doing? Hey there. Look, I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. You want a room? Claire runs the desk. Give her something to do besides breathing down my neck. Hey, Murawski. What? You got an itch or something? Talk to my associate, Fred Allen. Our selection ain't what it used to be, 
but the boy makes a decent Ken. Hey there. Boss Morosky don't like to be disturbed. Be quick. Can I have those? No. Okay, fine. Uh Excuse me. Oh man, someone new. You need some jet, man? Home brewed, reasonable prices? What's jet? You don't know? I just sell it. <laughs> it's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. What other kinds of chems do you have? Well, you got your medicinal shit. Rad X and Rad Away for radiation sickness. Hey, do you think that's why they call it Rad X? That's far out. The X Men is for extreme. for the sciency types. You know, eggheads looking for a boost to solve big problems. Buff outs for the muscle men. Fuck, just try it all is what I say. Do you have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. Oh my god, I finally you scrapped those, I pay you. <laughs> those no containers that I've been carrying around for fucking ever. Your offer's a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. Not good enough. You said there's already a crew of mercs there. I did say that, didn't I? Nice. How about 300? All right, fine. <laughs> All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best, the absolute best. Bring a hallucinogen. <laughs> I was carrying like eight of those things around. For so long, I finally scrapped the damn things. Son of a bitch. I don't think she's carrying them anymore. I think I finally got rid of them. Take whatever you want. Uh, fuck. So they had a quest marker on them. But you could scrap them. Yeah, I don't have them anymore. They're gone. Well, they should respawn after a time, so it shouldn't matter. Hi. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Ah, uh, here we go. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now, the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up Kim's. So, still want a room? Who owns this place? I love doing this Mr. tour. Mr. <laughs> oh, you should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end Kim's, beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Tell me more about this Murawski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top until someone stronger kicks him down. Now, are you buying this room or not? Tell me a bit about yourself, Claire. <laughs> I have been working in this hotel for over 40 years, and this is not how I imagine spending my retirement. Now, are you done being nosy or are you getting a room? Nah. I don't think so. Then leave. <laughs> I love doing that tour. Hey there. I just clean up around here. Yeah. Um, wait, oh, no, you're a different guy, never mind. Hey, Rufus. Hey there, you're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? 
It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before? Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. I could use work. Depending on what it is. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. I assume this is a paying job. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Are you gonna take the job? Isn't brewing equipment gonna be kind of... large? Usually it is, but apparently this machine has been miniaturized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? I mean, I'm gonna keep it. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Oh my god. i got so many quests to do, and I'm just trying to get toward Castle. <laughs> you can see I'm still not there yet. Twenty-seven now. So we could take the next in armor mods. Can't up my I can up my scra uh, science at the next level. I will want to do. Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? <laughs> Got her blocked in. fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. <clears throat> Young lady, do you need any help on your settlement? I can pull my weight, I God. promise you. Sure. Sure. I know the perfect place. Want to work for me? Thank you. Even after all these years, it's good to have something worthwhile to do. Sure, just go to Sanctuary. Uh, well... Shit. <clears throat> Young lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need any help? Sure. I know the perfect place. Want to work for me? Thank you. Even after all these years... Go to... You know, I don't have anyone in Covenant. Go to Covenant. Uh-huh. I'm sure there's a mag in here somewhere, isn't there? Like ninety percent certain there's a magazine in this hotel. There it is. There we go. Plus five percent XP while adventuring with a companion. I love the colors nice. on this comic book. They're very bright. Okay.
That's it. Is there anything? Nothing. They can't see me. Oh, I'm detected. cartridges. Well, <laughs> got that now. Look, get out of the way, dude. Gotta go back to third rail. <clears throat> Sure as hell didn't act like them. Institute thinks they can replace people with sin in this town. That's they freedom. Got another thing coming. What am I gonna tell his mother? What happened? Hey. Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. Maniacs wielding guns. I feel safer already. We got a comedian here? Look around, jackass. Good neighbor takes care of itself. That's how it works. And the Institute better learn that no synth double is gonna go unnoticed in this town. Now maybe you get out of my face, huh? No, it was a synth. <clears throat> how you doing? Hey, ever been to kill to be killed? Some fine looking weapons. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud then? Well, I'm not a Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're about. Save your caps by a logger instead. It is not wise to stand between the silver <laughs> shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. Nice. a good sound system they got. Excuse me. <laughs> help me, help me, rescue my heart. Save me, save me from falling apart. Take me, take me, baby, I'm sure. You've got the power, you've got the cure. Like a mushroom, a cloud in the sky. I felt my world start. Waving goodbye, radiating through and through. Baby, it's just you. Radiating through and through. Oh, baby, it's just baby. It's just baby. It's just you. Mm. 
No one's gonna clap. It's just you and you and you. Yes. And we'll be right back. Beautiful as always, Max. Thanks, Charlie. Can I get some water? No need to even ask. I always set aside a stash of the good stuff just for you. You are such a sweetheart, Charlie. Thank you. What, you need something to take the edge off? Hey, Mac, Fred Allen, Allen. Hotel something Rexford. I can do for you, gorgeous. Hook you up. Oh, man, can I, can I keep getting her? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. Oh. There's something else I can help you with? Nothing. I'll leave you to it. Well, you know where to find me. All right, who else could blocking my do? light, doll. Uh, hi? Excuse me. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Yeah? Hey there. Hey. That's yeah. Nice. <clears throat> huh? A hell I of need, a crude. I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Sweet pit boy, sister. You hold on to that. Excuse me. Hey. So many Mr. Andy's around. Oh. Do you serve drinks here? This here is a bar. And I'm a bartender. Hey, Silver <laughs> Shroud. Come on, tell me your secret what identity. I won't tell anyone. What is your destination? <laughs> My job ain't talking internal specs. You ain't buying shove off. Oh, how good. <laughs> I'll be rude to Curie. This guy brought his own fish. Yeah. Who's your friend? I like him. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. Which person is, is a good singer? They months. really are. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. I swear one of you should have been named Noble. <laughs> Here on Gunner business, so back off. Hi. Get out of my face. 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 Hi. Look, lady, if you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the gunners. You're acting like I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. Maybe it's better that you don't. I want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You don't. That's part of the risk, right? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. The price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. No, I don't. <laughs> Fuck. Carrie, come back. Have you found someone that can help me become human? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get underway. 
All right, McCready, my my house is getting uh packed with companions here. All right, McCready, it's like all the all these people I'm gonna have to like get on top of. I don't think we can actually do much more with Curie though, so it might be until we unlock the memory den. Um, that we bring someone else with us to get their affinities up and everything. Because I think Kiri is pretty much just waiting for us to get to that point with the memory den. So we might go back and like get Kate or something. Running from something? Welcome home. Kendra's outside, isn't she? Where is she? Looks like it's the only place to go. All right. We've got more trash to throw out. Great. Not that fusion core. Yeah, we're, we're gonna try to get as many of the companion perks as possible. So that's why even though Piper didn't have a quest, we we kept her with us. Damn. Just wanted to get her perk. Yeah, fooling around, are you? So we wanna try to get all their perks. The Silver Shroud thing still works if you're in power armor. Holy shit, it's snowing outside. Sorry, I just looked out my window and it's snowing outside. A lot, actually. Holy shit. That was unexpected. What's going on? Sorry. Wait, who was that? Movement detected. Curious. That wasn't. Oh, tell me, Vault Guy didn't bite it. Where are we trying to go here? Turn some of these quests off. I'll turn that off. Turn that off for now. Just so I can see where I'm going. Down that way. I'm not in Good Neighbor, right? It's not pointing me back inside Good Neighbor. Is someone present? No, it's not. It's around the building. Okay. Yeah, maybe we ought to swing back around and go get um, go get a new companion. Are you attempting an ambush?
active sensors, nothing more. I knew you would re Engaging defensive countermeasures. Though dangerous, Five, combat is quite vigorous exercise. Combat initiated. Couldn't even do us the favor of dying elsewhere. Still in one piece. Oh, he got a few. No mercy. I'm sure there's no tripwires or landmines up here. Oh. Hi. Sorry, we scared each other there. I believe a sniper has found us. Wearing cherry power armor, of course it's worth it. Just an insult. Your actions could result in injury. I would prefer if there was a whole lot less of that. <laughs> she jumped off the edge of the building and died. Perfect. the favor of dying elsewhere are you gonna say that every time good the weather's turn in shit i know i'm going entirely the wrong way but There's gotta be something down here. D 
you think two ghouls could have a baby? And if they could, would it be a ghoul baby? Or a regular human baby? See, she asks all the questions we're all thinking, but too afraid to ask. to be kicking in. Old greenery. Bearing ground. Come down to the old greenery. Fusion cells I get the better. Ugh, disgusting. Two and A. Never gonna remember. We'll do that later. Okay, back, back, <laughs> back to what I was doing. Now leasing. Wait, I was in here already, wasn't I? Yeah, I was in here. Oh, now there's turrets. Hell yeah. You don't want to do that. He had like a pink bat. He did. <laughs> I'm taking that. Yeah, we were in here already. There just wasn't raiders before. I don't think this door opened before. There is something nearby. Oh, hi. Stop I that. Ah. What are you gonna do now? This ain't over. <laughs> Why is everything so dangerous up here? <gasps> Damn. 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 Requesting assistance. Fair, I didn't see that. Hang on. 
I gotta do this as the shroud. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> we doing it? Lock and load. Shit. <laughs> I stand behind my power armor. You did good. Fan fucking tastic. <laughs> okay, you're not. Act okay. I mean that. All right. Couldn't even do us the favor of dying elsewhere. No. Contract for Shelly Tiller. Okay, look. <laughs> Fair points, Heather. But, uh... <clears throat> Valentine should be able to help find the guy I'm after. I don't really trust him, but he's the best chance I've got. I wanted to ask you about something else. I'm all ears. I need you to get out of your power armor. Roger that. Thank you. Well, it smells like you in here now. <laughs> if I can recycle landmines. I got a hundred of them. And I think my UI is broken. It didn't tell me how many caps I just got. Let's save it. Yeah, I forgot to take the keys out. Let's restart the game. Part of the HUD broke, the <clears throat> the part that does the notifications. So like when I'm supposed to be able to see when, um, you know, some parts of my settlements upgrade or just the basics of, you know, someone disliked that or how many caps I got. Um, I don't know if it's, a, it seems to be re entirely related to some settlements. So it might be there's a bug and I need to, Check and see if there's another update. That should have fixed it. Okay, got everything? Good, let's go.
every time I gotta reset that. Okay, there was an optional Shelly Tiller who's clear up there. Tell you what, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to Good Neighbor. So let's. And we'll kind of continue on our on our way. I do want to do that. Um, we need to do that. We have no one to really help Curie right now. We need to do that, because that's in the area. Should be some nearby, right? So Anne can go there. All right. Wondering if we should make a quick trip back, drop off some stuff for recycling, do some crafting, and then head back to, to base. We'll drop Kiri off and pick someone else up until Kiri's quest is ready. I think we'll do that. Should have a load of stuff that came back as well. Because we dropped one of those beacons. How wonderful. I take a new hat. You want a new hat? stuff. Take those. Yeah, it looks like all our stuff that we dropped off. It was back at the vault, I think. We dropped off a bunch of stuff. Anything not labeled resources is stuff that came back. bottom of the list because it's always easier to do this a little bit faster. There we go. Everything else is resources. got our beacon back as well.
Yeah, we'll drop the ponies in there. <laughs> okay, and again, I just gotta make sure I don't... Let's see. I don't want the billiard balls to go in either. And then I'll just scroll down. That's a cool mod. Yeah, I let... I never even knew that mod existed, the Salvage Beacons mod, and it's great. That you can just, you know, it, especially if you're in a pinch, because there's nothing worse than when you're, like, inside somewhere. Your companions are all full up, you're full up, and you're still, you know, searching around, so you have to make a decision on, do you just let the rest of the scrap go, or do you... You know, you can let someone else just come and pick it up for you. God, there's so much, so much scrap to drop off. Everything else I want to keep. So we've got this thing manufacturing um, energy weapon ammo. It makes the laser rounds and then we take the laser rounds to the chem bench and we convert them into the plasma rounds. Oh god, this has got all these brooms. Oh god, <laughs> it's, the brooms are everywhere! Coming off that, oh god, coming off that elevator conveyor. Right into that filter. One time I shot the legs off a robot, damn thing just kept coming. Slow as fuck, dragging its way across the floor. Scariest thing I've ever seen. Sounds like some stuff's getting filtered down there. Yeah, and here we just dump all our crazy excess ammo that we get. God, a broom ended up down here. I don't even know how. Hey, Seth. This thing would change as a 70, uh, 76, like moving junk with one key. Nice. Steel? Oh, I guess steel doesn't need to go in here. That's right. Man, look at all this stuff coming off the belt. Siphoning off the plastic. Oh, it's beautiful. Any ammo? No, not yet. I think it's waiting on nuclear material. Um, how'd the pillow get over here? Beer bottles is gonna go through. What's going on? 
We might stop filtering plastic after a certain point, because I think... It'll just fill up, of course. Hey there. Um... Now, I can't remember if explosive ammo can go in here or not. My systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this problem a great yeah, Well, Kira, your quest is currently kind of locked in at the moment until we get a little bit further in the main quest line. Blood sacks. Mm. I'm gonna recycle that down. Oh yeah. Had a recycling center like this. He had one item block the hole and everything piled up behind it. By the time you got packed, the pile was almost as high as the machine. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Yeah, some stuff coming out of here will just jam up. And then, of course, it wants to go in here because it basically, you know, respawns out of this thing into existence. And when it does, most of the stuff comes upright, including brooms. And so not only does that jam up and clip into this, it really gets it when it hits here, because then it gets jammed up in there. But it's okay. I don't mind, actually. Because this is, this is basically... Oops, didn't mean to grab that. Um, you know, this is a post-apocalyptic scrap factory. It's not going to be perfect. I like its imperfections. Let's get a little hands-on with my, uh... factory sometimes. Oh, my shoulder still hurts from that fight the other day. Now, um... This is an ammo recycler. Now, just tell me in the tooltip if it can... Ammo recycler scraps all types of ammo. Mount confer recommended am recommended ammo. Gamma, flamer fuel, infusion cells. Oh, this is non recommended ammo. Infusion cells. So no energy ammo. I'm curious what happens if I drop some grenade. like, say, I get a bunch of grenades I just don't use. Like, mines and stuff. So let's say I drop some grenades in here. I mean, you know, that's not dangerous at all. So we can recycle some grenades. No. Grenades. Do not recycle. Okay, so explosives, as far as I know. This is an explosive recycler. There might be one.
Weapon dis- there might be weapon disassembly. Okay, scraps of weapons and explosives. Here we go. Wonder if we could... I'll take more power. Let's see if we can do this. Pull this away. Hey, we got one. things jam up every once in a while. They will go in. Jam up sometimes. Okay, I think... Oh God. That just broke a lot of power, didn't it? I don't know how. Oh, it's powering through the belt. Okay, um, let's see here. We need another equipment sorter. Again, visually, that I don't know why whoever modeled this has that belt going the wrong way. It's it works though. Now, let me this. I think it's still working, but we are... Can I... let's see... Not enough space to... Like, move this over a little bit, is there? technically if I move that whole thing over but then that's not gonna work could sort of do it with this if I really wanted oh well that's okay gonna suck is trying to get <laughs> trying to get in here now we need more power <laughs> I need more of these stupid generators it's okay once we get a high enough level I'll be able to build these things enough level yet. Like we're just basically daisy chaining a stupid amount of these things. 
Also means we'll have to hook up that central hopper as well, because it's not hooked up. Maybe I should go ahead and do that, because get that added to the power network. I think. Might have to remove that wall. That wall. How about instead? Why? I don't care. Hook to anything at this point. Hello, imbecile. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Turtle Christmas. What faction am I going for if I know already? I'm going to try to do as many as... <laughs> no, that's, that's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I I created that thing myself so people could get my attention, and I actually hate it because it insults me. <laughs> I do it to myself. Um, why purple? I just like purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Yeah, I'll eventually find one. <laughs> I do it to myself. You can just hook it up outside. Hook it up out. Except I can't jump when I'm hooked to power. Hang on. Um, we're gonna tr basically we're gonna do as many factions as we can, like get them up as close as possible, and then kind of probably see where we want to go from there. So we'll kind of work every angle. My my goal here is we're gonna take over the wasteland. You know, this is. I'm gonna... Why can't I not hook onto that thing? Is it that corner of wall that's doing it? It is. I think it's that corner of wall that's... preventing me from hooking that. Now, there we go. Perfect. I cheese it a bit. Okay, there we go. So, we need more power. Another Jenny. Who's my favorite faction? Um, I'm trying to think. Let's see. I don't really like. I don't really like many of the factions at all. I mean, they're all kind of. I mean, I hate the Brotherhood. Absolute. I've always hated the Brotherhood in any Fallout. I I call them just raiders with a creed. That's all they are. She gets busy. Just got to poke from time to time. Oh no! You know you don't need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Think you should leave? Nah, you don't gotta leave. But yeah, as for faction, I don't know. I mean, I guess Railroad is the one I've done before. Um, Minutemen, the Minutemen are always kind of lame. I don't know, it seems like all the factions are just... semi-lame. But the only one I really hate is the Brotherhood. <laughs> I 
means you have a very cool poster in your room. Moon's, ch Moon's Channel is the place to be. Well, it's... It's where we go. <laughs> it's where I live. Do I want to know what it says? Sure. Okay, do we have enough power now? It says, join the Brotherhood of Steel for honor, for glory, freedom, and list. Oh, dear! <laughs> so, my, my dislike for the Brotherhood. <laughs> You're a hardcore fan. <laughs> I just never liked them. Like, to me, because, I mean, they raid everything. You know, they steal technology. They'll burn places down. You know, they'll burn settlements down to get at the technology. I don't like them. You adore them in three. In three, in three, they're a bit different. Granted. Um, in Fallout 1... I'm trying to remember them in Fallout 1. And yeah, Fallout 1 there, I think they were kind of at their worst, really. I still need another Jenny. Oh, I can't wait till I can get that other generator. <laughs> That's gotta be level 40-something, though. Trying to pet people from themselves. By destroying them? And plus, they'll take anything. They don't, they don't negotiate. But that's my take on him. Okay, powered, powered, powered. Oh my god, really? I still need another Jenny? Or is it just not hooked up? Maybe it's... Is it just not hooked up? It should be... Oh, it's not hooked up, that's right. Because it's not hooked... Because I've got this conveyor clipping in. That's right, it's not hooked through. It's not powered via the conveyor belt. There, now it is. Which means I probably didn't need that extra generator. That's okay. Okay, so powered, powered, powered. Powered. That's powered. Powered. That's not powered, but I think that's triggered. That's why. Powered, powered. Okay. It's got power. Everything should have power. So I think, yeah, I tossed... <laughs> I was trying to power that thing, and I realized I... had the wrong... Uh, it wasn't hooked in. Okay, yeah, everything's powered. So now... Brother than three was a disconnected branch from the Brotherhood, right? Plus, might makes right, and they have, s and <laughs> they're so right. What I'm trying to make this is my recycling factory, so I pick up all the junk around the wasteland and bring it back here to be recycled. There's no ultimate point in it, but um, and then of course you see. We end up with just straight up resources here. So it's not like, you know, teddy bears and all that other stuff. But then we can also manufacture some things here. Like here I'm manufacturing um, fusion cells, which then I convert into plasma rounds. So that's what this place is. This is, this is my recycle factory. I still haven't, I still haven't played Fallout. It's still snowing outside. Oh my God. Sorry. It doesn't usually even snow here, weirdly enough. Not in the past 10 years, but suddenly it's snowing outside. Anyway, um... Is this in the base game? No, it's modded. Uh, I've got manufacturing extended. Do you like slightly immature conversations with people who are wrong? Yeah, you can check out the mod list. I actually updated it today. So the mod list has been updated to accurately reflect the mods I'm using. It was it was a little bit out of date. 
But, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, I haven't played Fallout 76 since the Brotherhood have showed up. I need to. Especially now that they've... Um... Got, uh... <laughs> more storage space. Let's see. It's lined up here. Come on. That should come out of there. Stuck in my own factory here. Sort of snap back on. There we go. Is that? Yeah, that's lined up, and there's concrete on the floor. Did that get there. Some stuff has fallen out. You only have Brotherhood Steel mods to make them more glorious. Spoilers? I've played Fallout 4 before, so this isn't this isn't my first playthrough. You get there dead in 76, that's why you don't like it. Oh, 76. Well in 76 they're like They're showing up. I haven't, I haven't played 76 since the Steel Dawn uh, storyline has been added. I still haven't actually beat 76. I haven't, still, I haven't even actually... Uh, I still haven't actually even beat the main storyline. Yeah, I remember the storyline... I remember, yeah, the original Brotherhood of Steel that were in West Virginia at the time. The original faction that that cropped up there did get wiped out by the Scorch Beasts. I remember that. And then, yeah, there's the new storyline that has cropped up, I think, the past October or something? Where the Brotherhood were going to show up. And then, I don't know if they're there yet. I don't know if the update has come where they're there yet. But yeah, the Brotherhood is... There's been, like, radio signals where they're coming from the west. I think there was a faction that was on its way because there's there's a whole back uh, storyline of why this faction's coming. Here it is, just Raiders. So that was the first update. So the first update that added uh, NPCs added Raiders and Settlers, and then <clears throat> I think this past fall. I love watching Ferals versus Raiders. Barrels hit hard okay, and Heather. never give up. <laughs> Raiders have guns, but they run away. Quality entertainment. Um, yeah, and then this fall, I think they had an update where it was the the Brotherhood are coming. They're on their way. You like start picking up radio signals, and then I think the next. I don't know if the next chapter's out yet. I think it is. It might even be onto the third chapter, isn't it? I don't know. Like I say, I haven't played. I haven't played since that update. So, yeah, I haven't played 76 in several months. Have I ever done a blood, blah, 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 blah. Have I ever done a... Bah, I can't speak. Have I ever done a Brotherhood of Steel playthrough? Um, no. <laughs> I've gone down the Brotherhood of Steel chain, but then when it comes to, like, the final bits, I don't finish it with them. I've I've only I've only beat beat this game I think once, but I've played it several times. Like I've gotten further into it. Okay. Let's see. Let's put up a little blockade here. snap off there. I just don't want stuff come rolling off of there. 
Okay, that should... That should work. So now we can... Now this should just work on type, so... If I put a frag grenade in there, I don't know if it's... I think it'll just filter based on grenade. We might put a mine in there too. That should sort those out. Into the recycler. Let's test it out. We'll just put one straight in here. The weapons. Put just a couple in there. So it should it'll pass this first one. It should ping on this one. Yep. Nice! Oh, and we get circuitry out of them. That's perfect. Nice. Ooh, even some nuclear material. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's test it with a Molotov. Put a couple in there. happening downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Works. Wow. Uh, okay. Wait. <laughs> How do I get fiber optics and circuitry out of a Molotov? Wait. What was in that Molotov? That's a smart Molotov, I guess. Uh, there. Oh well, that's good. <laughs> Someone lose this? Put that in there. You love the railroad, but at least it's an informed opinion. I mean, it's just the way I play the game. I love Fallout to Death. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite series. I will be honest though, I never actually finished Fallout 2. It was the one Fallout I've never actually completed. played Fallout 2. It's supposed to be a really good one, and I started playing it some time ago, like several years ago. Um, but I just, I never finished it for some reason. Wait. I want these. No. Gimme. I don't know why I want these, but I want these. Apparently I had a lot of them. Gimme those. We got more fusion cells. Okay. So the recycler's kicking off again. That's great. Means now we've got ammo recycling and grenade recycling. So I can get rid of all these extra ones I just don't need. Keep those though. I'm gonna toss the cryo mines. I'll keep a pulse mine on me. Okay, and then 
ammo. That's right. Bunch of ammunition. You never played one as well? I played the first one. The first one's really good. It's hard to get into. Um, it's really hard because, of course, Fallout 1 and 2 are, you know, a, d a very different style of game. Um, I it took me like three tries to really get into it, but once I got into it, I really loved it. It was a it was a great, it was a great uh, Fallout. But yeah, it just took me a while to get into it because it's just I wasn't used to that style of gameplay in my Fallout. Forty-five rounds. Oh yeah, I'm using those in my combat shotgun, aren't I? Don't really use thirty-eight, so we'll keep around five hundred on us. So we'll recycle the rest. Forty-five. That's for yeah. That's for my <clears throat> combat shotgun, which I don't really use now. But definitely don't need that many. Ten mil. Five millimeter. We'll keep. I mean, come on, paddle ball ammo. We gotta keep. <laughs> Try to maintain like a certain amount, and then anything over, we'll just re throw that into the recycler. Because it's going to cost us a lot of steel to make those gamma, uh, not gamma rounds, plasma rounds. Is the Brotherhood of Steel in them? Yes. Brotherhood of Steel is um, in Fallout 1. I think they're in Fallout 2 as well, I'm pretty sure. Did you at Brother <laughs> had me at Brother Steel? I I do recommend Fallout 1. It does take some getting into, because it's just such a different style of gameplay, but I do recommend it. It's And it's where Fallout started, of course. But yeah, it's a It's an oldie, but it's a really good one. I didn't in all honesty, I didn't play it until after I'd even played Fallout 4. Like, I didn't get into the Fallout series until Fallout 3. A friend had recommended it to me when I bought a PS3, and I was like, what game should I buy? And she was like, oh, get get Fallout. It's a great game. And I'm like, okay, sure, it looks neat. And then, yeah, I played it, and then I was pretty much hooked from that point on. And then eventually, you know, Steam did like a sale with... And Bethesda was like, yeah, if you buy this game, or if you own this game, I think you get, like, Fallout 1 and 2 for free. And I was like, oh, well, hell yeah. <laughs> God, look at all this stuff. Isn't it amazing? Oh, God. It's beautiful. Ugh. Oh, it's so pleasing to look at. Just all this stuff coming out. But you only have the Brother Study. Blah. But you only have the Brotherhood of Steel or the Enclave in Fallout 3. Yeah, you had. Let's see. Were those really. Yeah, I think those. Are those the only factions? I remember in Fallout 3, though, too, you couldn't wear power armor unless you got in with the. Got in with the Brotherhood. It was a skill to wear power armor. And actually, fun fact. The first thing I ever streamed on Twitch, when I went official to actually streaming on Twitch, the first thing I ever streamed was Tale of Two Wastelands. 
the mod that combines New Vegas and Fallout 3 together. And I did that in celebration of them announcing Fallout 4. So, <laughs> I've been here a while. I was getting I was getting a hanker to play Fallout again, so I was going to play I was going to play this in VR. But some of the mods I really wanted to use did not work in VR. And I was like, ah kind of broke it for me. So instead of playing it in VR, we decided I'd go back and play it in regular mode. Tale 2 Wasteland is also known as the only way you can play Fallout 3. That's when you... Yeah, Dark Omen's been here. Dark Omen was here. Was one of the first people that uh, came to watch when I started streaming. He's one of my oldest... One of my oldest uh, viewers. He's one of the ones that's been here the longest. Okay, dokie, sap. Barrels are smarter than you think. Folks say their brains are rotted away, but I've seen them set up ambushes. Jump through several burning hoops, and you couldn't play it otherwise. Fallout Three has trouble running on Windows Ten, doesn't it? Saw that. I think I remember people saying if you had Windows 10, Fallout 3 does not like to run on it. Wow, for bags of concrete, that is <laughs> just flipping around there. all working. Okay, let's... while I'm here... More nuclear material. Don't you do it. No! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Uh also modern computers. I wondered about that. That's disappointing, though. I mean, I haven't, I haven't played Fallout 3 in a long time. I mean, really, Tale of Two Wastelands was the last time I played Fallout 3. See, this is another reason why we need to scrap our ammo, because our ammo produces a lot of steel. It takes a lot of steel to convert our Fusion ammo to plasma. Yeah. Looks like we're about to get more, but I'll let I'll let, got a bit messy. <laughs> We'll go back to my settlement, and, um, we need to check on the other settlements, actually. Oh, shit. Um, we'll pick up another companion, because, yeah, like I say, I think Curie's locked in until we get further in the storyline. Yeah, I could put more fences up to stop it, but like I said, I don't mind. I saw that. <laughs> How did that even happen? Wait. That fell through the floor. That fell through the floor. Oh, did it like fall through there? Maybe it did. Anyway. I don't mind. It's nice to just it gives me a little bit of fuck's sake. This really flew, didn't they? Gives me a little interaction to have with my factory. Plus, it's a junk factory, right? 
Okay, let's go back to my place. We'll drop Kiri off. We'll pick up someone else. I think we'll pick up Kate. And then we'll get back on towards moving... Very, very slowly moving towards Castle. <laughs> Power armor. Drop some stuff off. Hey, McCready. Hey, you made it. Wow, frame rate's really bad here all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to drop off. I think I got bobbleheads to drop off. I got a lot of plushies. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Got another bobblehead. Nice. See my little pony? Yep. <laughs> I got I got a replacer mod that takes some of the junk and turns them into plushies. <laughs> I've been recycling the rest of them because I think I got enough. Uh let's see. I got any holotapes we can put away. Oh yeah, here's my streaming setup. <laughs> so I got, really? got some sound panels here. Nice computer. Got my microphone. And it was delicious. Oh, yeah, I was putting. Well, this is where I was putting notes. I forgot about that. So I'm trying to remember where I was putting notes. And thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Picked up trash, sure, we'll put it in there. Uh, let's see, do I have any weapons to drop off? Got several submachine gun. I'm gonna drop that off. Oh, yeah, I got that mod now. I found the mod that I thought I installed before the weapon racks extended. So, we can hang some stuff up. Well, my frame rate is bad right now. My god, everyone! <laughs> Calm down! This makes me more sick. Couldn't sell that. So you got two, three, I need the four ball. Which I should have now, yes. All right, so we got four, five, six, seven, uh, don't have seven. No, I got that. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Still displays kind of funny, but whatever. It's the mod. Uh, welcome back, Seth. Dropped off. I picked up some. I pulled the junk out of this box, and everyone went ham on me. Always collect stuff for the pool table, cause you know you. 
People break this stuff. Stuff gets lost. Where's Kate going off to? She not at my bar? Oh, there you are. Oh, she's at my bar. <laughs> okay. So this doesn't. So this is a display mod. Um, it doesn't quite work right unless they place everything in there one at a time. Um, because there's actually more in there, I think, than it says. There's 11, but it's only displaying... five? If you put them in there one at a time, it works, but... Do I need a Nuka Cherry? Yeah, I do. It's Nuka Quantum. What is this? Extreme. I don't have any more extreme. Uh, let's see. Nukas, Quantums, Cherry, Nuka Ray, Berry. Oh, I did have one of those. Okay. Hello. Hello. Probably come in here at some point and just like set up displays for this stuff. Oh, we got the poison wine. Everyone be careful with that. It's unlabeled next to the non poisoned wine, alright? <laughs> just so you know. Shove a blood pack in there. Get out of there. It's easier if I do this from the bottom. stuff in there. Did I? Ugh, missed a whole bunch of stuff to put in there. <laughs> okay. Kims are in there. Guys, quit leaving the door open. Come on. I invite you over to my house and this is what you do. Carrying some more armor as well. Wait. Shit. I fucked up. 
my weapons don't go in here. Clothes go in here. I put the wrong damn thing in. I did put weapons in here, didn't I? Melee, yeah. Supposed to be clothes that go in here. Weapons go down here, because I haven't taken the time to sort that yet. Okay, should be good. Um... A lot of similar collectibles here. Yeah, well, I'm, fucking, <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with it right now. This is what happens, though. I get bored of trying to do something. Open, yeah, I'm putting the collectibles in here. You can see I got my salvage beacon back because I had I've always carried four on me. Okay, anything else? I'm, I feel like I'm traveling heavy right now. Oh, the swan boat pieces. That's right. Put those in here until I figure out what I want to do with them. I might never do anything with them. They don't even weigh anything. Okay. Okay, everything else just grenades and other that kind of stuff. Alright. Oh, drop off these mods. Wait, is that did that say T60 jetpack? It's a T60 jetpack. Mine's T60 armor, right? No, T45. I keep making that mistake. <laughs> Every time I make that mistake. Actually, that reminds me. Are you... Heather. Heather. Heather, where have you gone? It's quiet. Please get out of my way. <laughs> Too quiet. <laughs> oh, man. I always wanted to say that. Oh, damn it, McCready. Heather, stop. 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 It's been too long since I picked a fight. I'm ready. Show me what you've got. Heather, wash off that black face, goddammit. My god, where are you picking this stuff up? <laughs> Give me that. Pick it up. I want to smash something. Let's repair all this up because we did step on a landmine earlier. Anything I add to the helmet? Got a recon. Change the color of our 
headlamp. Nah. We're good. Alright, Curie. You hold down the fort while we're here. More rats could hey see there. In the dark. Why is everyone... Guys, you don't know this is offensive. Stop that. A warm spot with a cold beer would be heaven. Oh, yeah. Forgot you came here, didn't you? Hey. Ready to head back out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show in the road? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. All right, Curie, you stay here. Strong, don't look. You're gonna have to get over me doing this every single time. Oh, sure. And what am I supposed to wear? Shut up, Strong. I only wear this, look. <laughs> Strong. The only reason I'm wearing power armor is it lets me carry a ton of shit. They have a mod to fix that? I thought I had the mod to fix that. Cloudsworth must have a de- What the fuck? Again? Cloudsworth has a desk. Also, this place is really... This place is coming together. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to build Mama Murphy a chair around here. Look at the chairs in my old house. You guys doing? I actually wanted to see if Vault Tech guy got here yet, or if he died on the way. Yeah, there's a place here. Doing power armor. Except I just locked myself out. I think I got out in the doorway. Yeah, I did. Here, let's go to sleep. Oh, rad storm. <laughs> I wonder if the city's ready to level up yet. You guys make yourself at home, I guess. Hey, Cod's wallop. <laughs> I hope the vault guy made it. <laughs> There's every chance he died on the way here. This is up and coming. I need to come back with scrap to donate, though. Hey, how you doing, Sturgis? Trash can Carla, is that you? No, that's our... Courier. Never mind. Provisioner. Glad you witness. Mac using 50% ammo? What? What the hell did that mean? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. I'm not sure how that works. You're running behind me, dear. You're watching my ass. Hey, Lemmings. How's it going? All right, let's head back to where we were. 
We were pretty much... We're not going to go back to Good Neighbor, though. Unless we want to go up here. Do that assassination. Which we could. Should we do that? Still, the fastest way is to go to Good Neighbor. Also, I just realized what time it is. <laughs> I swear, like, I looked at the clock, wow. and it was four o'clock. Like, ten minutes ago. No, it's like six o'clock now. Right, we're gonna go back out. I didn't realize how late it was. <laughs> One of those days where I'm having to re Why do I hear that every time I walk out? Okay, for one, we're gonna kill this stupid dog that's over here. Must have been nice before the war. You could walk down this street and you didn't have to worry about a mutie trying to, to bag you for dinner. Great. Actually, maybe we should continue on, not go up to that one place, but go so he gets out of our party. Yeah, we'll head, we'll head back down. We'll head back down this way. We'll take Anton down there. So that's this way. Is that coming? Is that because like, you came in chat though? Thought it must be late. <laughs> when you showed up, I just happened to look at the clock and I was like, wait a minute. Oh, my shoulder still hurts from that fight the other day. It's like I haven't, I haven't looked at the clock in a while. On a good day, I can lose. I can lose myself playing this game. Watch out for landmines. Killed the super meeting up here earlier. Okay, that's going the opposite direction where I need to go. I need to go that way. Do probably gotta go soon though, but I'll was interesting. Keep your gun handy. Ugh, disgusting. I want this one's head. Okay, no one hurt the Brahmin. You're going down, bitch.
Damn, quit it. Forty-five a.m. There, you just woke up from mad dreams. Raider, oh, I didn't know you were legendary. Increases where his overall carry capacity. Plus thirty, minus one agility. Let me know if you find some spare ammo. Oh, you weren't legendary. That's one of the bags. Hang on. Plus 30, minus 1 agility. It's the same, just looks different. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Way to distract my eye, though. <laughs> I spotted the Nuka first, and then I saw those two lights like, Light mine! Oh, they nearly got me on that one. Swore I heard something. Trash is dealt with. Couldn't even do us the favor of dying elsewhere. There's the tap house. Find that one of those special plushies there. Sweep above. Whoa, whoa. You hear that? trash to throw out. Great. Dude, this is why we gotta do your mission, so you can stop complaining. <laughs> get out of my way. Both of you, get out of my way. Ugh, disgusting. Oh my god, are you gonna complain this whole time? Well, if it's so disgusting, why are you humping it? Come on. Sneaking in this power armor. 
seems awfully quiet around here. Something's ghosting us. You guys got me stirred up what? over nothing. I can save. I haven't saved in forever. <laughs> Getting shook up over nothing. Tear you apart. Let's do this, Where? metal girl. Oh, that must have hurt. Shit's got ambush all over it. Who's going to stop the real Hold up. Do that. Wow, he just went up there and You're starting to piss me off. It's loot time. Ammo, caps, whatever you find, don't forget to share. Buddy, you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Mind if I have this? Couldn't even do us the favor of dying elsewhere. Dude, do you have like just two lines? Is that it? Fiery laser, but not that interested. Hello, <laughs> I'll be having that. Ooh, shipments T sixty mod. Power armor arm for a T-51. Grab that. Key. I haven't been paying attention. I think I've been passing up a lot of power armor pieces. Attention. Let me know if you want me to. Help with that lock, or any lock for that matter. Nope, got it. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. I've been doing it since you were before you were even born. I love it. <laughs> My recycle factor is never gonna stop. Gotta be careful back here, guys. There you go. Hey, Blackjack. How you doing? I see you there. Of course you'd be here at the tap house. are done playing your little game here. Hey! No pushing. How you doing, 
Blackjack. She's one of the unique plushies. You cannot get an- there, there are no others of her <laughs> out in the wasteland. So if I scrap her, she's going for good. Now why would a housewife mother need to pick locks? I think you're asking too many questions and why this housewife didn't care that her husband or child are gone. <laughs> I'm living it up. <laughs> hey, can I have some of that? You drink it all. Fine. <gasps> Got the arm, damn it. God damn it. Why did I miss that? Yeah, who's who's gone? Two hundred years, I'm on the market again. <laughs> My child's gone. Whiny little sausage that it was. Yeah, <laughs> I was preoccupied. With, they know how to distract me. Preoccupied with the flamingo in the toilet. Oh, hell yeah. Look at all this. Do a quick vat sweep. Nostalgic or something. I could always get some caps for that, I suppose. Okay, Kate, listen. You don't know how I operate here. Yes, I'm all about making caps out here in the wasteland. But I have to build up the infrastructure first. Build up the infrastructure, you know, get my get the basics of my empire running. This better be good. Don't for now, up. like it's calling me. It's like I'm here. Come get me. Delicious Nuka-Cola. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to take that hat. Oh well. Sometimes I just get a bit grabby. Gonna drink that? Get out of my way. <laughs> what do you got? Perfect. Includes spotlight hacking source code. Nice. Lay down. You've done your job.
for me. I couldn't remember the name of the bird. And they live all around you. That's true. They're kind of in your area. We being followed. Crimes all still in one piece. Phew. Pop that open in a bit. Ugh, disgusting. Well, this is great. I can barely see a damn thing. Okay, just make sure nothing pops up. Just talking about the building of friend there. Give me those. that trap. Beginning startup sequence unknown hardware detected auxiliary BIOS detected flashing operational subroutines Micro brewers operational. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dispensary operational. Detecting brewing subroutines. Hollow tape detected for women. Fail ale. Start up sequence complete. Dispensing sample for approval by technician. How would you describe the testing sample provided? Cold and refreshing. Do you know how long it's been since I had cold beer? Very good. I appear to be operating at an optimal level. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Absolutely not. <laughs> what are you? I am a modified Robco Protectron designated drinking buddy. My internal microbrewers allows for the internal brewing, bottling, and dispensing of beer at an accelerated rate. I am also programmed to tell a wide variety of jokes for the customer's amusement. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Can you brew any other types of beer? If provided with a hollow tape. Containing the recipe, I should be capable of brewing any alcoholic beverage. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Nope. Change of plans. I've decided to keep you myself. Understood. Are you ready to set the parameter boom at this time? I'm ready. Very good. Please select the default home location. Go to Red Rockets. Home parameter accepted. Beginning transit. Send to my place immediately, please, right after disabling jokester feature. <laughs> no, that's part of him. 
we go. We got him. Forget. Were there any? There was that. We grabbed that one recipe, but. Excellent. All right. If we don't move fast, we're going to start glowing. All right. Yeah, you head on home. Crap there. Don't you block me in here. <laughs> okay. We'll probably end it here, though. This looks like a decent spot. I ran well over time today. But that's fine. We got some stuff done. Still... <laughs> Slowly, very slowly, inching our way towards castle. We'll get there. We're just very slowly working our way there. We've got a billion quests to do. So Kiri is ready to go to the next stage, but we're not going to be able to get her companion quest up and going until we get further in the main storyline. So we brought Kate with us to get her affinity up. Because we're going to try to get all the companion perks. That's one of my goals, is to try to get all the perks. And Strong, we're going to cheese him. Um, we'll do console commands to get his affinity up, just because he's the most annoying companion for my playstyle to try to get his, to try to get his um, affinity up. Because he just hates everything I do. He hates if you pick locks, he hates if you get in power armor. He bloody hates everything, so... <coughs> you never you never go never ever go get him yeah I think I tried once I think the first time we ever played this I tried to get his affinity up and I think I did it but it was just it was annoying because you just couldn't do anything you had to like I think you had to like position him well away from you tell him to stay and then kind of do things at a far distance it was the only way to get him to not get upset every single time you did a lock pick or something it's hard to do inside buildings, so yeah. Strong, strong is really just kind of annoying, to be honest. But um, but yeah, we'll cheese, we'll cheese his one. We'll just do console commands to get his up, because otherwise, <laughs> we've got so many companions, and to try to get all their affinities up is gonna take a good while. But we'll get there. All right, then. Then. It stopped snowing outside, I see. Sun's back out. All the snow's gone. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll uh, continue playing Fallout. And, um... Yeah, like I say, sometime this month I'll... planning. I'm still... I'm gonna say this every night, but... uh, Or every end of stream. Sometime this month I'm planning on doing a 12-plus hour stream. Um, I'll probably... It'll probably be the week of I Decide. Um, and it may be even that week that I decide what day it is. So, um, it's not something I'm going to be able to warn you guys about too far ahead of time. <laughs> It'll be just like, I pick a day and that's when it's going to happen. But, um, all right, guys. Well, have a great afternoon and evening. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I had fun. I love Fallout and I lost myself in it this time. Um, so have a good afternoon and evening and I'll see y'all next time.